What's up everyone? My name is Allison Ryan and thank you for coming back to Taking On Type 1. And today we're going to be doing an overview on the bubble, what it does, what it is, how it works, pros, cons, and everything in between. But before we get started, like always, let's roll that intro. Like I said before, today we're going to be reviewing the bubble, but before I start, I do want to say that I have not been endorsed by the company. I bought the product myself and I'm doing the review on my own free will. Lucky for all of you, I was able to work out a little deal with Bubble on themselves and they are actually giving me a coupon code to give to you through my YouTube page. So if you are planning on getting a bubble, do that in the next two weeks because that's all the coupon is good for but I will give you the coupon code and the details at the end of the video, so stick around. So the reason I'm doing this video, and this is the first video I'm doing on my channel, is because there is only one other review of the bubble in English to date. Now I'm sure there's gonna be more that come along in the near future as people start learning about the product and, and buying it for themselves in the US, but right now, there's a very limited number of videos out there, and only two of them, this being the second, is in English. So that's the main reason I wanted to get this video out there as my first video. So that way, if you are trying to buy the bubble or look at a couple different options, this gives you some really good grounds to kind of hear about what this product is and why I like it and the pros and the cons and just helping you figure out if this is a purchase that's right for you. One last thing before I get started on the actual pros, cons, review part of the video is I wanted to mention that I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, to run the app and all that kind of stuff. So when I'm referring to the app and how that connection works, just know that it is with the iPhone. That might be um, a differing thing for you if you have an Android or anything else. So just know that this is for an iPhone. We're gonna get started with the cons so we can end on the positive, right? My, my first and probably biggest downfall with the bubble itself is not the product and it's not its technology, but it's with the app where there's not really an option to share it with other people. With Dexcom, you get the Dexcom follow app or other things like that if you have a different CGM. But with this app, there's not specifically something that comes with the bubble that you can automatically send your numbers to relatives, boyfriend, girlfriend, roommate, whatever the case may be. There's not a specific thing for that. Now that being said, there are ways to share your information, meaning your levels and stuff that comes through here. There are ways to do that. It's just a little confusing and it takes a lot of manual work and steps and a lot of time, but it is possible. I personally am still working on that process, learning from other type ones who have done the process themselves. So once I get that all figured out for myself, I will gladly do a video for all of you on how to get that all set up. But I will say that that's my first and probably biggest downfall with this product is that there's not something specifically set up for the share feature right off the bat. So my second con, and again, the rest of these are pretty small and minor, would be that you still have to scan the Libre at least once every eight hours to keep that information in the Libre app. Now you can look back at the bubble app and look at the calendar and you are able to see your numbers, but in order to share them with your doctor or to you know look at another thing through the Libre app, the bubble does not count as a scan. It will not count that in the Libre app as you scanning it. So you have to do it once every eight hours to keep the app realizing that you're still using it and that it's still working. Now, don't fret if you have gone past your eight hours and you didn't scan it, no worries. It's not gonna close you out or end your sensor early by any means. It's just gonna leave a chunk in your graph where it can't pick up the information. So it won't store that information for that eight hours. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do scan it every eight hours if you wanna keep that information. Now in a week or so, I'm gonna be doing a video on the best ways to keep the Bubble and Libre unit together and on and what works best for what activities and all that good stuff. But for right now, all I have is the sticker that they sent me and a patch. Now if I just use the sticker that they sent me, I would feel okay with it like walking around the house or those kinds of things, but I don't feel like I would be confident enough in just the sticker to go out in public. As you see here, it's just the bubble and there's a small sticker here on the back like I'm showing you and that's what sticks onto your arm but there's nothing that connects the two together when using the sticker that they have. Now there might be other stickers that they offer that do this specific thing to keep them together a little better but I personally have not used that. With something like this, like the patch, it's a little bit wrinkly because I went swimming today, but something with the patch, it keeps the whole unit together and it keeps it really firm and connected. 
This kind of leads into my fourth con with it is that I get a couple of disconnections. Now, one of those reasons may be because the connection point right here, this is the bubble, the oval shape, and then the circle that kind of is a half moon here is the Libre itself. Now, these two do have to be touching or at least extremely close to in order to get a good reading and a constant reading. So that's another issue with only using the stickers. You Sometimes it will lift up and it's just a little bit difficult to keep that connection strong. So that might be one reason if you get a disconnect, that could be why. But I have had a couple of times where it's disconnected and it's on and it's tight and it's secure. So I'm not really sure where those are coming from, but typically it's pretty easy to fix those disconnections. The simple way to do it is just to double click the home button, clear that app, reload it, and it usually pops back up as connected. If that doesn't work, a lot of times I'll just take it off and I put it back in the box. Make sure if you do buy one, you keep the box because there is a reset thing in there. It looks like this. This little thing in here is actually a magnet that will reset it. There's not a reset button on it. So make sure you keep that if you end up getting a bubble. I put it on that and that will reset it and then I put it back on and redo the app again and it's all good to go. So it really only takes a few minutes to reset it, but it doesn't really happen all that often. So I wouldn't put it as a huge con against the product at all. When this does happen, you can look at your app on Diabox, which is the app that they use to run their program. And instead of the number being a color with a trend arrow, it will have the past number that it gave you with a slash through it. That just means it missed a reading. Another con I have is not really with the product, it's more so with the app that they use. This app is called Diabox and it's run through a thing called Test Flight. So when you go to download the app, you're actually gonna to go to Test Flight on the App Store and then you're going to go through Test Flight to get the Diabox app. Now this will be another video as well on how to set it up and get all of this information on your phone and on your watch and all that good stuff. But the process of downloading the app is a little confusing for one and then getting it to your watch is really kind of hard. Now the other issue with the watch is that it isn't 100% real time is what I'll call it. So if I get a notification on my phone, sometimes I have to click the little Diabox app thing that's on my home screen and then it will lag for a couple seconds and then give me my number, which is totally fine. It's still so much easier than taking out my phone and scanning it and you know getting that number. It's still at the touch of my hand, don't have to get out my phone. It's still a lot easier and I am able to see the graph on my watch, which I love. This last con, I wouldn't really consider it a con, just something more that you need to be aware of. The thing you need to be aware of is that the Libre is still the piece of technology that's pulling the blood sugar levels and giving it to your phone. It's not the bubble that's doing that work. The bubble's job is just the transmitter from your Libre to your mobile device. Now that being said, they actually have two different algorithms. The bubble has a slightly different one than the Libre, which they work fine together but sometimes the bubble can override the Libre algorithm, which can be a little bit different. So you would pull up your Libre app and see 155, and you might pull up your bubble app and see 157. So it's really, really small differences, but just be aware that if there is a little bit of a difference between the two, that is why. Now on to the good stuff, the pros. The biggest pro for anyone using this product is that you get a reading every five minutes without doing a single thing. It goes straight to your phone. You can put it on notifications. You can take it off notifications, whatever you want, but you get a reading to your phone every five minutes and it basically makes it a Dexcom, which is super, super helpful because Dexcoms are really expensive. So this is a one-time purchase. You purchase the bubble one time, unless you have issues with it, obviously, and it doesn't work, then you can ship it back and go through that process. But it's a one-time purchase. It's rechargeable, it's rewearable, it's awesome. You can use it as many times as you want. You can only use it for sleeping. You can use it when you're in the gym. You can take it on and off whenever you want and it doesn't ruin the Libre one bit. The second pro that I have for the bubble is that you actually get some extra arrows in addition to the Libre. Now if you use the Libre you know that you have straight up, angled, horizontal, angled, and down. So you have those five options. Now with this one you get this one, this one, this one, but you also get an extra double arrow. You get a double arrow up and a double arrow down. So you have the one arrow up, which would mean rising quickly, and then you have a double arrow up, which means rising very quickly. So you just get a little bit extra information, which is super nice for the lows especially. You know how fast you're dropping and how 
how much sugar you need to take. Do you need to take more of a liquid sugar or maybe just something with a little bit of sugar and maybe some protein? It really helps you know what your body is doing and it really helps you figure out what to do next. The alarms are awesome on this thing. It gives you so many options. First of all, there's about five or six different tones that you can choose. So you can choose a different one for highs and a different one for lows. Um, you can make sure it's something that sounds completely different than any other alarm on your phone. The other thing you can do is you can customize your snooze periods. Now what it means by that is if I get an alert that I'm 2.50 and rising quickly, if I go ahead and take some insulin, it's not going to work in the next five minutes that quickly. So I can go ahead and snooze that alarm, otherwise it will go off every five minutes. I can snooze the alarm to stop for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, five hours and it has some different options for you to snooze it. So you can give your body some time to adjust to the correction you just made. Now, the other thing you can do is you can have it delivered quietly or with the audible sound. When I'm sleeping, I love the audible sound so, so much. Or when I'm busy or doing an activity where I may not have my phone right on me, I love having the audible sound because I can hear it and not be right next to my phone. If you're in a place where you need to keep it quiet or you're embarrassed by it, maybe it's school and you don't want it to be a disruption, you can put it on completely off where it will still send you um, the notifications on the app. You can go over and check it, but it also gives you the option for vibrate. Now it's still a very different vibrate tone than anything I've ever heard. It will actually vibrate five different times and it just makes it a little different and a little more consistent so you will pick up on that alarm. One other pro that I have is that you can customize the alert level. Now, what I mean by that is you can customize what level you want to be your low alert and your high alert and what your target range is. You can get a pretty wide variety of where you want that graph to be and where you want those alerts to come in. My last pro for this is that it's super, super easy to apply and change and take off and charge. It comes with its charging cable. You will need a charging block. Um, but those are very easy to find. It's I use my iPhone charger block for it. Or I use my Apple Watch charger block, which are the same. Um, I have portable charger blocks. All of those work. It's just the normal USB end, but it comes with the charging cord and you just plug it in and it's really easy. It takes hardly any time at all. There's a little flashing light to know when it's charging and it will change to a solid when it's done. Or you can pull up the app and it will tell you the percentage right there and you know exactly how charged it is. The application, as I said, is super, super easy. You just line it up next to the Libre, as you see in this video here, and you make sure it's tight there, and then you can just lay down the patch, or if you wanna use the stickers, that makes it even easier because it holds it in place while you put the patch down. But the application is so, so easy, and taking it off is a breeze. I love that you can take it off before the Libre is expired. I love that you can position it wherever you want. You can put it down here, you can rotate it to the top. It can go anywhere around the Libre 360 that it's gonna have a solid base to sit on. So all in all, what are my opinions on the bubble? Personally, I think that the pros highly outweigh the cons here. I was being extremely picky in the things that I chose to tell you, just so you get a little bit of information and have some things to consider when you're buying this product. But I personally think that getting a reading every five minutes and having those customizable alarms and alerts is so worth it. And it totally knocks out the cons, in my opinion. Would I recommend the bubble? 110% I would. I'm in love with mine. I'm so glad I bought it. It gives me a little bit more freedom and a little more peace of mind knowing what my body is doing. I love that I can go to sleep and know that my alarm is going to go off. Now I would still check before you go to bed just because we all know we have technology and technology can fail us. So I would check with a blood sugar meter before you go to sleep, but it gives you that extra peace of mind knowing that you're gonna get basically yelled at by your phone if you start slipping into a low. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, what is this coupon code so you can get some money off of your bubble? So lucky for you guys, you're getting 10 euros off of the bubble purchase in the next two weeks. Now I need to restate this, that there's only good for two weeks. It will drop down to five euros after that. So make sure that you get it in within the next two weeks if you're gonna get one with that full 10 euros off. Now the coupon code is just one word, no spaces, no capitalizations or anything, just taking on type one, okay? Taking on type one, I'll have that in the description along with where to get the bubble from, but also like their Facebook page, whether you get a bubble or not, if you're interested in some information, they have incredible information and they are constantly on there to answer your questions, to give you advice, to kind of let you know if there's anything going on with the app, they'll let you know when a new update's available. There's also a ton of people on there 
that can also give you advice from personal experience like myself and a ton of others that just have used it and can tell you a little bit more information as well. So go like their Facebook page and that link will also be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for coming back to taking on type one and I am so glad that I was able to get this video out here as soon as I was. Thank you so much for the love and support. I've only been doing this for about two days and I already had 150 views in 24 hours on my first video and that was super shocking to me and super exciting. So thank you so much out there for watching my videos and giving me the love and support that I need to keep going on this. If you wanna get more information on when I'm posting videos or give me some suggestions on what to make next, follow me on Instagram at takingontype1 or also like my Facebook page, Taking On Type One. Now the last thing you can do is hit that subscribe button and mark that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video that I post. I am beyond excited to expand on the bubble and the Libre. And next week I'm gonna be talking about what's gonna work best to hold this thing on for you and your personal daily use, what works best in water, what works best in activities, or when you're sweaty, or when you're working out, or when you're just at home. So we're gonna cover that next week, and I am so excited to get you guys that coupon and to get you guys this information on this video. Thank you guys once again for stopping by. I so much appreciate your love and support. Get out there and take on type one.